So I scored to program this ECU. So I'm cloning it, but I'm using the multiprog wiring diagram to get to know how I can connect my pins to it. So the blue and the violet is the can I and can look. And the green is ignition and the red and black is normal power and ground. So after knowing this, then I connect it to it. I don't have the machine yet, but I'm trying to buy one. But I don't have it yet. So after connecting to it, now I have to use PCM Flash to read it. PCM Flash can read it, but I don't have the wiring diagram. So I use the multiprog to get the wiring diagram. And this Mazda 6 ECU that I'm, right, I'm reading, and it is PY which is um, py which is 2.5 so i'll select from encryption and select the 2.5 py so you see the py and the rest of the numbers it normally doesn't matter but the main issue is the py so i have after identifying it now i'll check the dtc in it and see so i'm reading it and so that i'm reading it and I'm not doing cloning for this. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to read the ECU. Then after that, I'll rewrite the original data back to it without any modification. And when you get the map file, you can do any modification that you want, like DTC, delete, and more for anything that you want. So with this, I'll wait for it to finish reading. So with PCM Flash, one thing I like about it is... Um, if you buy the one which comes with a schematic, you can choose to use it or not. It's only the dangle which is needed for the software to work. Because when the software is working, you can use any J25 device to connect to it. But um, when it comes to the botch ECU, normally botch ECU, you have to get the um, GPT-1 and GPT-2. So when you are using J J25 device to read it, it could be a bit trickish. And when you have the Godak GPT device, that one you are good to go. So normally people will be like, don't buy the clone. Yes, it's not good to buy the clone, but we can use the software, that's what is needed. So the dangle gives you the access to use the software and the dangle comes with the protocols which is needed. So now I'm using a different protocol to read this. which is protocol 11 to read the file. So I'll wait for it to finish. Then this have not speed up the process. I'm just seeing the writing time and the, sorry, the reading time and the writing time. So I'll save the file. Then I'll go back and rewrite the same file to see the time that it will take for me to finish. So I think this one, it took almost like two minutes for for it to finish the writing but i'm thinking of getting the um x horse and maybe the obd2 star to see or to compare them together because um, I've, I've seen some update which shows that the obd2 uh, the x horse multipro can read certain ecus so i'm yet to buy one then i'll test and see if all the issues that they are claiming they can read is okay because uh, the old update didn't come with the sim 2k but with this new one or the new update which is version 20 uh, it comes with the it comes with the sim 2k um 24124 and others so i'll i'll eventually try it i'm waiting to buy my or I'm waiting for it to arrive. Then I'll eventually try it and see if it can read it perfectly. But I'm trying to get both OBD2 star, a OBD star and the exhaust to compare them properly. But I'll, I'll try and get the two and see how best or the videos I can make about them when you compare it. One is tablet or one is PC. So the multiprog is for the PC and the OBD2 star comes with its own tablet. So that one you don't need PC. That's why I'm getting it. And the 
Multiprog will be something that will be at home for heavy duty works. And the OBD2 starts with they give you options, but with the Multiprog, you don't have any option. You buy it, the software that comes with it is what you use, and it's more advantageous than the OBD2 star because from my from other reviews I've checked, I see it that way. But I'll buy it and check it myself. But for now, it is almost done reading, uh, writing the file onto the new onto the same ECU. And I think that one is also taking almost like a, a two minutes or more. So I'll just wait for it to finish everything. Then I can see now if I have any issue, I can clone it. But there are other ways also of programming it, like I did in my previous video. So with that one, you can do it easily and you don't need much attention. So you just do parameter reset and you are good to go. And you change everything. So it is done writing. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'm trying to bring you more videos related to ECU writing.